Māori in the 21st century, an open letter. Tēnā koutou, te reanga o te rautau, rua te kou mātei. Ko a hui mai nei runga i te kaupapa o te wā. Ngā rua tanga moe nei rā, mō tātou te ui Māori. But how many of you watching this understood what was just said? Are we getting ahead of ourselves? When we set down a mihi in our own language to open these proceedings? Should we just say greetings? Truncate our koho down to the English, which can at best only offer an approximation. Of what can only be intrinsically understood. When we shrug off the idea of one nationhood and rip our Māori tongue as a separate entity. Or is that a form of elitism that excludes the majority of our people? Isolation of nearly our whole nation, because don't they say our hero is dying? Even though we're the ones who are trying, pursuing education. And a system built to serve another group in our society. Dedicated to revitalisation of what past generations have been able to hand down to us. Knowing at the same time that this is an ever we are as a people anyway. The media are the ones who go in for the one dimensional, labelling us as terrorists. Winding fucking Marys, crying treaty. Dog lunches. Free letters. Whichever you prefer. An ounce full of alcohol abuse and a spoonful of drugs. Abusing our children instead of giving them hugs. These are the shadows with which we are painted, stained and engraved our identity and shame. And do they not know how damaging this is? Perception is something all our people have, but they define us not by who we are, but by what we lack. When we are all blacks. New Zealander of the Year. Governor General. We can all draw pride from being wonderful Kiwis. All from a sick fucking Crims. Thieves. Hori. Ayoga! Are we still Kiwis? Or are we now Maoris? This is never all we are as a people. For one thing, there's the music. Meneke neke taua. Etsu. Hate ya. Saka we awe awe. And it doesn't end there. Māori succeed in every artistic sphere. And the next time someone brings up the funny head eating, tell them. Not only are we overrepresented there, but we're also technically overrepresented in tertiary education. Because we make up one in five of all students studying somewhere this year. We are loud, proud, and brown. Hey bro, we are not brown. Still, it's our Māori tanga that keeps us grounded. And gives us strength. Our parents and grandparents have walked the length of Aotearoa. Mai te reinga ki te whare miere. Fighting for the recognition of what is ours by right. Te takahi whenua. A legacy it is ours to uphold. Because it hasn't ended. From ngā tamatoa to te taku taimoana. Self-determination, a guarantee inherent to tino ranga tiratanga. And one which is in our power to achieve. That we we achieve anything as a people to the highest degree. Dr. Lance O'Sullivan, Willie Apiata VC. Our political leaders who have brought their activism to national attention in and outside the House of Representatives. Overcoming prejudices based not necessarily on the colour of our skin, but the content of our whakapapa. The idea of self governance doesn't scare us. Even if it's a lot to live up to. But we're the Kohanga generation. The Renaissance was fought with us in mind. A long term design that has shaped our inheritance of Te Ao Māori. And forming the way we move through this world, aha koa te aha. A tūture te kōrero, patakoto te manuka, ki a tātou katoa. But that's because this isn't all we are as a people. We are not. Kapu te ruha, me hao te rangatai.